Chamber of Law, the Chief Justice, and the Associate Justices of the Supreme Court of the United States. Oh, yay, oh, yay, oh, yay. On Monday, April 2nd, 2012, the Supreme Court issued its opinion in Florence versus Board of Chosen Freeholders of the County of Burlington. This case, which was argued in October 2011, involved a Fourth Amendment challenge to uh, the city of the County of Burlington and the County of Essex routine strip searches of people arrested for nonviolent uh, minor offenses. In the 5-4 decision written by Justice Kennedy, the Supreme Court upheld this practice. The facts of this case involve a man named Albert Florence who was arrested on a, during a routine traffic stop because there was an outstanding but in fact incorrect bench warrant for his arrest involving uh, his failure to pay a fine and appear at a hearing at some time in the past. He had, in fact, already paid the fine, um, and the bench warrant should have been erased from the system. Uh, it was not, uh, and he was brought into custody as a result. He was, like all prisoners in these counties, uh, routinely strip searched. Uh, the Supreme Court held that these there is no Fourth Amendment bar to such uh, routine strip searches. It's important to note that the court rested in part on a pre-existing 2001 opinion, Atwater versus City of Lago Vista. In that case, the Supreme Court held that somebody, the police can arrest somebody um, and take them into custody, even if the only thing they're suspected of having done is something for which there would be no jail time. In that case, in particular, the plaintiff involved a woman who had was uh, stopped in a traffic stop and arrested for not wearing a seatbelt. There obviously would have been no jail time associated with that uh, that offense had she, uh, you know, it would have been at best a fine. Uh, the Supreme Court held in, in Florence that, the, that because the police have a, a very serious and important interest in maintaining jail security and protecting inmates from themselves, protecting from each other, protecting the, the jail system from the, uh, from contraband coming into the system, that, uh, that it was legitimate for them to undertake these strip searches. The, the, the majority also pointed out that often people who are, or sometimes people who are, in fact, guilty of more serious offenses can be picked up on minor charges. The, uh, two, there are two concurrences in this case, Chief Justice Robert and Justice Alito, who point out uh, explicitly that there may be times when this holding doesn't apply. For example, in a situation where uh, there are alternatives to putting the individual into the general jail population. But that has not been decided at this point. That's simply an issue that's been uh, held over. The dissent, this was a 5-4 decision, and the dissent was written by Justice Breyer and joined by Justices Sotomayor, Kagan, and um, Ginsburg, uh, argued, uh, in my opinion, very persuasively, that the evidence, the empirical evidence, suggests that there is, in fact, no reasonable basis for having this kind of rule. Uh, Justice Breyer pointed to the experience of one county in particular, for example, where over a period of years, 23,000 people uh, were strip searched. And out of all of those searches, there was exactly one incident where uh, contraband was found that would not have been found on a, had the county been operating on a standard of searching only on the basis of reasonable suspicion. It's also worth pointing out that a number of states, including Illinois, have laws that prohibit these kinds of routine strip searches when people are taken into custody on the basis of minor offenses.